Hey friends, this is Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and this is One Meatloaf, Three Meals. Here is our one pound of our locally raised um, hay fed beef. It's really, really lean. Do you remember all those hot dog buns and stuff that I was uh, using to make stuffing? Well, I toasted them all and just threw them in a in a bag and uh, I've been saving them. They're nice and crusty. So I'm going to use them to make breadcrumbs. And fine breadcrumbs they will make. Alrighty, here we go. I've got a parchment lined bread pan. I have a cup and a half of my toasted breadcrumbs, a two small or one good medium sized onion, one egg, and a pound of local hay fed beef. I like to use the, lo um, the local hay fed beef for meatloafs because it's really lean and you can get more bang for your buck. But you know sometimes the stuff you buy at the store has got way too much fat in it and it doesn't give you a solid loaf. So let's just get this all together. Bread crumbs. Get on my glove here because I got nicks on my hands and burns from the wood stove. Nothing major, just enough to for ketchup to annoy it. I'm gonna cut a blop of ketchup in there. I'm gonna say about a third of a cup. And our egg. Very, very simple meatloaf. Some people put onion soup mix in, but we're not gonna bother. We're just gonna and of course garlic everything's better with garlic all right we're just gonna whoops mix this all in together i'm gonna put my eggshell away because i'm saving them up for my tomato plants this year howard loves my meatloaf but i'm gonna make this stretch three meals tonight's supper which i'm gonna make with um smashed potatoes which i'll show you how i do that after um with my home can this is kind of a pantry pull meal guys this is whatever i got in the house because we're not we haven't shopped yet we got to do that soon though oh yeah that's looking beautiful okay whoops all right so now we're going to take this and put it into our parchment lined pan okay and i want to make it as even as possible because I'm going to be slicing this for lunch tomorrow. There. That's going to go into a 350 degree oven with our smashed potatoes, which I'll show you how to do okay, that. Now I'm going to make some smashed roasted vegetables. Here is the juice I have drained from my a jar of carrots and a pint of potatoes. And before I put them on the sheet, you want to dry them. Do you know why you want to dry them? Because the butter won't the oil and butter won't stick if you don't dry them right you got to give them some so i'm just going to dump my potatoes and carrots onto this paper towel and this is one of the wonderful things about having home canned vegetables you can do this um with a meatloaf and you don't have to cook it all the way Otherwise, you'd have to, you know, because the meatloaf's only going to take a half an hour, you would have to pre-cook your uh, vegetables that you want to roast. So we're just making sure we get all the water off them. And there they go. And I'm going to take my masher. You want any other thing in here, dear? Do you want me to, like, sliver an onion on top or something? Oh, I'll always take onion. Oh, you'll always take onion. Okay, so first... I'm just gonna, I've got this cookie sheet coated and um, wrapped in foil. And I'm just going to, I'm not mashing, I'm just kind of smashing, right? We just want these kind of, you know, roastable. We just kind of want to smash them down a little bit. Throw a sprinkle of sweet peppers on there for some color, frozen sweet peppers. Oi stuck together fresh onion rings you don't want to put slices because they gotta cook right now I'm just going to 
very gently. I've got this. These are the oils that Briar's boss gave me. I'm going to just sprinkle this a little bit. Just a little bit. With some garlic olive oil. Toss it up in that oil. Try not to rip your paper with using this friggin' thing. A little bit of salt. Not too much because these were canned vegetables. A little bit of pepper. Homemade Italian seasoning. Is now going to go into the 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes with our meatloaf. And the vegetable water I drained off the potatoes and carrots is going to go right back into this quart jar. And I'm going to save, put this in the fridge for the next time I make soup. Because look how rich that broth will be just for saving the water from your vegetables. All right, the timer has gone off because yes, my husband fixed my oven door. Here's our meatloaf. Let's start with that. Oh no, the timer hasn't gone off. It's going to go off in one minute. And this is our three meal meatloaf. Now, look at that. Isn't that lovely? It's a little flat. I could have made it go farther with um, more breadcrumbs and eggs, but how we would have noticed. So, there's that. I'm going to cut myself a piece. And when this cools down, I'm going to slice, when it cools down, because it'll slice better, I'm going to slice some of this off for sandwiches for Howie tomorrow, and that's going to be tomorrow night's supper. And wait till you see how I do it. Right now, I'm just going to wrap this up and put it back in the pan. There's the timer. And this is going in the fridge until tomorrow. And here's our roast vegetables. Look at that. Make sure Daddy gets more potatoes, because he likes potatoes more than I do. I'm more of the carrots girl. Oops, careful not to get tin foil in there. I couldn't find my plastic lifter because it's in the dishwasher. So pepper, for papa, just a of salt, almost none, and then, yes, ketchup. And we're going to go see what papa has to say about that. It is supper time. Yay. Wow, that looks good. Oh, I'm glad you think so, Gracie. Get your nose away. Well, try both because... I used canned home canned vegetables for the ro for the roast vegetables so that because they were already cooked, mm -hmm. and they would cook and heat up in time with the meatloaf. And try the meatloaf. Veggies are awesome. Veggies are awesome. Mm -hmm. I'll make some good lunch tomorrow. I know. I save some for your lunch tomorrow. Thank you, darling. If it makes it. Pardon me? If it makes it that far. Um, yeah, it'll make it that far. <laughs> if it makes it that far, he says. I'm determined to get three meals out of this meatloaf. And that's all there is to that. Because that's just good home economics. See you for... he's gonna Meal number two is going to be meatloaf sandwiches, which is one of Howie's favorites. And then I'm going to take that little piece of meatloaf, and you'll see what I do with that. Take care. God bless.